bread to eat out. You give a seed to sow out. Ibo si si na me pora. Ibo si si na me pora. Ibo mo ne ri mo awa mi ke buru di biya. You are multi-breasted God. You are multi-breasted God. You use the foolish things of this world to confound the wise man. He come here now. He come here now. We're just going to go to the beamer to make a key. On a corner, we're going to go. I'm not the rookie. Na na na, mo go see. Biaku go mobi. Biaki chama nyamiri. Yahichamanya <laughs> Only <laughs> In the book of Matthew 13 from verse 3, Jesus told the parable of a sower. <laughs> Aha, the seed, some seed fell on different soil. Four different kinds of soils. Kalesha. That the seeds fell on. One of which was among tongues. Consequently, this seed had no opportunity to grow because of where it fell on. Yeah. So the seed could not grow. The, the seed could not succeed. There was an abortion of success because of thorns. <laughs> ah, there was a truncation of destiny because of thorns. Mm. There was an annihilation of development and growth because of tongues in Yakato pattern. Who is that man or that woman in form of tongue that is sitting on your head that you cannot spring forth? Tonight, they fall down and go down in the name of Jesus Christ. The man, the woman, your boss in your office that is sitting on your promotion. Hey, hey that person is a thorn. Mm -hmm. The person that does not want growth for you yeah, that is a thorn. Anybody around you who does not want your growth is a thorn. So whoever that person is, they shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus Christ. Any man that does not want your growth, hey, the Bible says, suffer not the wish to live. Any man or woman that does not want your progress is an enemy. And that person is a thorn. May the Lord take away thorns from you. Lord, take away thorns from my life. Sanitize my orbit. Hey, Oh Lord, sanitize my orbit. Uh -huh. Lord, sanitize my orbit. Hey, sanitize my inner Hey, and take away the tongues of my life. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Hey, the tongues within, the tongues without, the tongues in my household, the tongues in my office, the tongues amongst my cronies, amongst my bodies. 
Let the tongues be fished out and be dealt with. Let the tongues be fished out and be dealt with. Let the tongues within and without may they be fished out hey, and be dealt with. Let the tongues within and without may they be fished out and be dealt with. Hey, this seed fell on four different soils. Ha, one of which was among tongues. Hey, because of the tongue, the seed was not able to spring forth. When you are surrounded by tongues, you cannot grow. When you are surrounded by tongues, you cannot succeed. When you are surrounded by tongues, they will always lay siege against you. They will always trail you. Just like in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 10, when Saul was anointed king over Israel, and on his way home, his uncle surfaced. That, hey, that his uncle was a thorn. And he began to ask him, tell me, what did the prophet say to you this day? Hey, Mazi Baratan, so that he can sabotage the process. Anyone who does not want you to rise is a thorn. Hey, well, when you are surrounded by thorns, hey, Mazi Baratan, a planned wedding, be sabotaged. Hey, when you are surrounded by tongues, hey, your a baby conceived will be aborted or will be miscarried because of these tongues. Hey, tongues don't want you to make headways. Tongues want you to remain stagnated. Tongues don't want you to soar. Hey, your They don't want you to achieve success in life. They want you to be stunted. They want you to be stagnated. Hey, they are against anything that gives you joy. That is what tongues do. Hey, Maza Mazia. So whoever they are, within or without, they shall be fished out tonight. And the power of God shall settle the matter. Fire shall settle the matter. Holy Ghost shall settle the matter. Hey, Jesus died, died on the cross of Calvary. And thorn, thorn, crown of thorn was put on his head. And he began to bleed. Let the blood, let the blood. Let the power of the bleeding, Akatosa, the power of that blood, the blood that gushed from his head, hey, down his face, to the body and to his feet, can let Abata begin to speak for you, begin to fight against every tone of life, every tone that is hanging in your flesh, in form of sickness, in form of attack, in form of affliction, let the blood of Jesus, that gush from his body, from his head, when the thorn, the thorn of crown was put on his head, hey, on the predicate of that crown, hey, filled with thorn on his head, may you become the head, may you become the head, may you become the head, you shall become the head, in the name of Jesus Christ, the thorn of life shall not stop you, hey, the thorns of life, the thorns of life, the thorns in your family, foundational thorn shall not stop you because of this season hey your barata because of this season christ being the reason for the season hey, barata. so when these thorns are around you you cannot make headway <laughs> joseph had a dream and when he told the dream to his brethren hell broke loose these are tongues. He was surrounded by tongues. <laughs> After tonight, any of you that the sound of my voice, whose tongues are within or without, may you identify your tongues. May the Lord open your eyes to identify those tongues. Hey, and may the Lord deal with those tongues decisively. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, oh Lord, any tongue within. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every tongue, every tongue, and any tongue within or without. Lord, expose the tongues. Expose the tongues and put them in their place. May the Lord deal with your tongues tonight. Tonight, tonight. The tongue that is fueling your pain. Without tongue, no pain. Without tongue, no pain. So there are tongues that are instigating pain. Hey, there are tongues that are fueling your pain. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever visits a native doctor, whoever visits the shrine to make sacrifices on your head, to instigate affliction and pain on your life. Hey, they are tongues. They shall go down for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ. Any man that carries your picture to the shrine is a tongue. Because tongues fuel pain. The man, the woman 
that there's a preacher to the native doctor. He said, do this thing to her. Do this one, do this one. Medicine around my medicine, do this one. Ah! Those people are tons. Any ton fueling my pain. Go down for my sake. Go down, go down, go down. Hope you have a 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 hope you of the righteous but the Lord God delivered him from them all don't deceive yourself tongues have no respect for anointing <laughs> because I forget what Paul said he said this this tongues he said this tongues are emanating from Satan he said Satan has buffeted him with tongues so tongues are emanated or emanates from the pit of hell so Paul was carrying the Bible Paul had Christ. He was a born again. Paul had salvation. <laughs> he had salvation. But listen to what David said in the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verses 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, the man that prays. Don't deceive yourself and say, eh, because I'm a new creature, all things are passed away. And now, uh, all those things don't come near to me okay many are the afflictions of the man that has given his life to Christ when you were not born again you were tall now you are born again you are still tall <laughs> so don't try to deceive me or deceive yourself that uh, there, are, there are no tongues uh, when you give your life to Christ Jesus fasted after he fasted 40 days 49 the devil take it him The devil didn't take him when before he fasted, but after he fasted, the devil said, If you are the son of God, turn this stone to bread. He was tempted. So don't tell me because I am a born again, uh, there will be no tongues, there will be no there will be no battle, there will be no affliction, there will be no issue. No, 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 no. For every new level, there is a new devil. Amazusa parata. to barata. Hey, tongues have no respect for your anointing. Don't forget that tongues emanate from Satan. So if you're talking about anointing, devil is anointed. If you're talking about gift, the Satan, the Satan you're talking about now, Lucifer, he was a singer. He has gift. <laughs> Don't deceive yourself. I'm anointed. He was anointed. He had gift. Hey, what pursues him is a power for they for they that know their God. <laughs> what scares him away is the Christ that lives in you. What scares him away is the presence of God that you command. What scares him away is the word of God that you know that you put to work. So your anointing or your gift notwithstanding you can be buffeted by tongues. <laughs> hey! Paul was buffeted by tongues, and his manhood was moribund. That he could not have a wife or have children. Tonight, I pray for you. Whatever saying no to the yes of God in your life, in the name of 
Jesus Christ shall be no more. 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 Hey, let the voice from the pit of hell to put you down be silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. Any man or woman that is the guest pain, that inflicts pain, Kalosa, to you and your family, in the name of Jesus Christ, let the honor of evil load carry their load, carry their load, carry their load, carry their load. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Honor of evil, honor of evil, honor of this tongue, carry your tongue. Honor of evil load. Whoever is the getting tongue upon my life, whoever, whoever, any man, any woman is the getting tongue upon my children, upon my destiny. Carry your load, carry your load, carry your load, carry your load. In the name of Jesus Christ, hey man, as any man that wants me to go pain. To go through pain, you shall experience pain. You shall experience pain. You shall drink cup from the bitter waters of Mara. You shall eat your own flesh and you shall drink your own blood. He cannot manage it, he lekere kalo si prana nosa. He kalle babara tosha ta, hana manasa bara bara na nosa. He shoko da bara shoko da bara cha. You carry me, when some carry their God. You feed me, Lord, and some feed their God. You fight for me, and some fight for the God. Jesus, you know that use me, play. 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 On their heads, they will carry this at a particular season. You know, the Bible says in the book of John, chapter 5, at a particular season, an angel goes to you know, trouble the water. A certain season, so there is a certain season where they carry this God. That time, I was very innocent, I was, I was, I was very small, like three years old, four years old, thereabouts. So, we could just peep, we could run around, we could hear the adults talk about it, we could also see it, you know. So, I could remember. On the benefit of introspection so I can remember where a, a particular family was always carrying that God because he falls from family to another family <laughs> and when they you know it will just fall on the people that believe in it though there are some families that are Christian like my family so we don't believe in it we, there are families that it can that you do they are not try it there are families that believe in it so the, the thing will fall on somebody in that family. And when that thing falls on that person, they treat that person specially. <laughs> they will start treating the person like, hey, and it, and it has to be men. They will start treating the person especially hey. And when, when the person is passing, they are pointing at the person, look at you, you know, like one special something like that. that. <laughs> so this person is about to carry the God. <laughs> so, and that God, if I could remember, is, 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 cra is crafted it's wooden crafted okay wooden you can imagine wood now god wood oh 
maro si miru he Oso piata piata nelogu You are mountain melta Onkwangi kariri chinile Onkwangi kariri chinile You divided the Red Sea So that God was wooden crafted I'm trying to remember what it looks like you know and that's it in for the, the, the surface one, one part of it is like human face but it's like honey okay that thing and okay okay that big thing they used to drop it's, it's big like this but it has a face so and it's very heavy so your power there through through power day demonic powers day 50 men cannot carry that thing yes sir and like 50 people can't carry it so the, the man who have to carry it they have to put it on his head but it looks very light not be wood not wood nah. you can imagine 50 men will try to carry it until they appease that god when they appease it it will be light when the god is angry it will be very heavy that no nothing can pull it no caterpillar can pull it sir. yeah that is how heavy that god was okay so you can imagine they could carry it around the market from the streets around the streets to the market and then bring the god back so as heavy as that god was the person can conveying it will always try to stumble 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 but will not fall stumble stumble so it was like suffering to the person carrying it i don't know the kind of pain the person goes to but the person will be gnashing his teeth the person is going through pain but i don't know what that pain what that god does to the person conveying it but so god does not allow us go through such shame that we have to carry god like this and be going from market to market <laughs> you can imagine that so god is faithful he's the almighty there is no like him <laughs> before him there was no other god never was and never shall be you can me so when i sing this song i remember when i was small when i was tender at my nascent stage where somebody will carry god on his head they'll be moving from one market to another market you can imagine that you can't they carry their gods but god carries us <laughs> you carry me when some carry their own god you feel me lord i could now sometimes i see where people go to river they will be casting uh, bread they pour fanta i don't understand i don't understand so they pour fanta they pour bread they cast bread into river they, you feed me lord when some feed their god you walk for me i can imagine some people they used to fight their, for their god no you don't talk to my god like that we'll kill you we'll do this one to you we'll burn you we'll do this one we'll stone you but you fight for me when some fight for their God Jesus you know they use me play you know they use me play you know they use me play it is a gym and work it is a gym and work ah that battle you fought other people fought it and they, they didn't come out of it because he used to he carries you if you want to know if God is protecting you, ask your enemies. Go and ask your enemies in the village, in the city. How many times they have thrown arrows against you that never caught you? And they saw the next time they see you, they are in hour. Ah, did he make it? Hey. Uh, do you know how many times you've been poisoned? Yet you are standing strong. You didn't even know you were poisoned. You ate it and nothing happened to you. Because he carries you. You carry me oh, You feel me Lord And something I go You fight for me And some fight for the world You know that is me play You know that is me play Oh, oh, oh.
his hand. Matthew 13 from verse 3. When the sower had the seed in his hand, the seed fell on four soils, one of which was on thorn. <laughs> and the seed, consequently, that seed could not spring forth because the thorn choked. Consider the word sprung up and choked. Yeah. So when the seed sprung up, the thorn choked it. Now consider these two words sprung, sprung up and choked. How many times have you opportunities that failed? <laughs> the bible says when the seed sprung up the seed was choked by the thorn i want you to consider the two words sprung up and choke look at you you want to make headways you want to succeed you want you are doing everything you are putting your effort to achieve success you are choked <laughs> the thorn chokes you <laughs> Yeah, 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 Chioma me. How many times have you helped her and you lost the helper? You decided you wanted to spring up, but the thorn choked it and you lost the contact. Mm, there are thorns. <laughs> I kept to address the thorn. How many times did you conceive and you miscarried? You wanted to spring forth. The, the thorn shocked you. And pain. Anything that makes you cry. Anything that makes you feel your hope is lost. Because hope deferred makes the heart sick. Whatever affects your jaw is a thorn. La kela paruti mania elazu dugudu pralatia. Hey, look at you. You wanted to achieve success, but you were choked and you were drained. Hey, you wanted to get married. That, that relationship almost landed into marriage. It almost tilted to marriage. You wanted to spring forth, marital. The tongue choked you. And the man said, I am no longer interested. What has choked you? What choked your success? When that thorn chokes you, it affects your joy. But tonight, in the name of He that died and rose again, Anna Manasata, Ile Dia Njapata, whatever chokes you, whatever chokes life out of you, whatever snuffs life out of you, whatever snuffs joy out of you, whatever snuffs destiny out of you, whatever squeezes life. Happiness out of you in the name of Jesus Christ. It is truncated. It is truncated. It is truncated. It is truncated. It is. You shall no longer be choked by tongues of life. Henceforth, you are moving forward. You will do well. You will not go down. You shall no longer fail because of tongues of life. You shall no longer count your losses. You shall begin to count your gain. Hey, in the book of Revelation, chapter 5, there was a tongue. The Bible says, a certain book was sealed seven times. There were tongues wrapped around this, the, the book. And that book represents a man's life. The chapters of the book represent a man's destiny. Because they didn't want the book to be read, they had to seal it seven times. Ah! They had to padlock the key. Padlock number one, padlock two, padlock. So that nobody will have access to reading this destiny look at you full of potential you have gifts but nobody's looking your direction when you sing people cry but there is no demand placed on your gift <laughs> you have gift oh you have talent but nobody's looking your direction the people people are looking their direction you are better off but look at you just look at your life the bible said that book was sealed there were tongues around the book so that when somebody comes to touch it hell tongue you go choke you go choke the person the person go liver how many times have men proposed to you <laughs> how many times have men want they wanted to work with you but at some point they say i'm no longer interested that contract cancel it give it to another person see yoke or tongues 
we are wrapped around that beautiful book. You can imagine what the content of that book. Let it be sealed. Certificate for many years, you've never used it. Let it be sealed. Nobody will read that book. It will be beautiful, but no husband. Jesus the trap. You will jump and pass. The road has been marked for kidnap. The plane that has been marked to crash. You know, go enter. The Lord shall direct that path. The Lord shall lead thee. The Lord shall go before thee. The Lord shall make the crooked way straight for you. The, the house that has been marked to collapse. You know, go enter. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not live your life in regret. Anything that will make you regret this life, you know, will happen to you. You will never sing this song now, sing it. I'm a game of the remote one. Let no be. Eh, oh, oh. Eh, oh. I'm a game of the remote one. In marriage, you will not sing this song. Over your children, you will not sing this song. God will not allow you cross paths with people that will make you regret in life. That is not your portion. You will never regret your life. Any path you tow shall be directed by God. You will never regret that investment. Yeah. A lot of people have invested wrongly. They sold everything and they put all in, a, in an investment that never yielded. And they are singing this song. They have gone back to square one. It shall not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. And another, secondly, you will never regret this life. The only thing that will make you not regret is when you give your life to Jesus. Because there is damnation for anyone who is not in Christ. Don't forget you may be in church and not be in Christ. Jesus speaking, saying, Behold, I come quickly with my reward in my hand to apportion unto every man according to his deeds. So, if you want salvation, you want to live a sin free life, <laughs> you want to have everlasting life. He gave his only begotten of whosoever believes in him, whosoever believes in him, shall not perish but have everlasting life. Are you aware that those who live once, how do I put it? Those who live once and die twice, live forever. 
Yes. Those who live once, this life you are living now, and now die to flesh, they live forever. They have eternal life. That look upon the Calvary on which you die. And let your mercy prevail over my life. I'll approach your This is Princess Esther Junction and Kadua Junction. Be my guest any of these days. And the Lord will richly bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The advertoria on your screen is a clear credence to the fact that the Lord has remembered you. Wherever you are, find your way to avoid any field. This, the address is on the screen. The time is 8 a.m. on Friday, 29th March 2024. Be my guest. So, this meeting is specifically for you, it's not for everybody. This meeting is for those who are tired of where they are. People who know that something has shifted on their lives and destiny. People who are aware of the devices of the enemy because we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against wickedness of this world and spiritual, against rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. So be my guest and you see how the Lord will deliver you. Come and represent your family members one by one. Everyone's bands were loosed. That shall be your portion in Jesus. Yeah, as you sign out. Hallelujah. You are the God I can never fail. You don't know what it means to fail. Everything on the earth will fail. But you can never, never fail. You are the God I can never fail. You don't know what it means to fail. Everything on the earth will fail. But you can never, never fail. You are the God I can never fail. You don't know what it means to fail. Everything on the earth will fail. Lord, you can never, never fail. You are the God I can never fail. You don't know what it means to fail. Everything on the earth will fail. Lord, you can never, never fail. You are the God I can never fail. You don't know what it means.